So you've barely put in any work in the past two years and now you have your exam season coming up in just one month. You've procrastinated studying all this time. You've had a mental block that did not even let you begin thinking about studying until you looked at the date and realized there's only one month left until your first exam. Don't worry, there's still enough time for us to do something here. Obviously, it's not ideal. And in a way, you should probably feel kind of stressed out about it. That stress is a way of your brain telling you that you've made a mistake by procrastinating all this time. So use it as a learning experience for next time. Now, how do you actually get all nines or all A stars in just one month? Of course, we don't have that much time, so we can't go down the traditional route. I'd usually say notes and then flashcards and then bang out practice questions, but we don't have that time. Pareto's principle states that 80% of the results will come from 20% of the action. It's the famous 80-20 rule. If that is true, which it is, we need to find that 20% and make it the 100%. That is the most efficient way of studying when you don't have that much time. By far, the most effective stage when it comes to studying is doing practice questions. The technique that I would recommend is the technique that I use when I don't really want to study for a test. I literally just open up exam questions and just start answering them. Of course, as you can imagine, I can barely answer anything. But even if I don't remember that much, I will still try to do a couple of questions related to that topic. After answering some questions, I'll go to a YouTube video or just some notes or whatever, and I'll start learning about that topic again. For example, let's say I want to do homeostasis in biology. I'll pick some questions related to homeostasis and then I'll answer them. Of course, I won't do that well, so I'll go to a YouTube video, let's say free science lessons, and I'll learn about that topic. You might ask, why should I do the questions and then watch the video? Shouldn't it be the opposite? And to be honest, no, it should not be the opposite. When you start with the questions, you're going to find gaps in your knowledge that you need to fill. So then when you watch the video, your attention will be higher because you want to fill those gaps that you found. You'll come across a fact in the video, then you'll be like, ah, there it is. That's what I needed to answer that question. And for some reason, that reaction alone will make that fact stick with you longer. Now, after I've watched that video on, let's say, homeostasis, I should now, in theory, have all the knowledge needed to answer the rest of the questions. Now, listen to me carefully. You have to do questions as soon as you've put knowledge in your mind. If you've watched a video about a topic, you need to start doing questions straight away. You need to be applying knowledge right after it enters your brain. Our attention spans have already become short enough. We can't memorize information for the life of us. Doing questions right after you've learned some information will create a practical link in your brain. When your brain thinks that some information is useful, it will make sure that it remembers that information. So you have to prove to your brain that the information you just learned in that video is useful by doing questions. If you really want to get the best results possible, there needs to be some sacrifices. I'm not saying become a robot or anything, but you need to give some stuff up. Honestly, TikTok needs to go. It's a big time waster and it ruins your attention span. Some people know this, so they try to set time limits. But be honest, how many times have you seen that time limit come up and you just press one more minute or ignore for today or so on? The time limits barely work, so please just delete it. In my opinion, you also need to avoid stuff like Instagram Reels and YouTube Shorts. Even some YouTube videos. Try to only watch videos that you can learn from and videos that will actually motivate you, like my videos. You're gonna have all the time in the world to watch funny videos and TikToks after the exam season. If you repeat the technique that I taught you for most subjects, then hopefully you'll get a similar result. Maybe you won't do as well compared to if you had studied from way before. But the past is in the past. Don't waste too much time blaming yourself for procrastinating. Just start right now.